Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price. Two minute drill as Tennessee has their version of Media Day. We had SEC Media Day, so today's Tennessee Media Day. And then, of course, fall camp starts tomorrow. Clearly a confident football team led by its head coach. Yeah, a head coach who loves to compete. And the one thing that you heard about from Josh Heupel, Tim Banks, Joey Halsley, more competition in fall camp than they've ever had. And we've talked about that all, all season with the linebacker position, running back room. Better not take some days off in those groups because they've got some depth there. Other places, not as much depth but clearly a team that's excited about where they're going and feels like they've had a really good offseason. A lot of love for Joe. You heard the defensive guys talk about his leadership, the offensive guys talk about his leadership. They have a lot of belief in this guy. Now again, still got to put a pen to paper and, 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 and produce on the field, but clearly his teammates have an inner belief in him. Yeah, they do, and I think Joe's got more confidence in himself. I know that sounds crazy because there was a lot of bravado with Joe when he first got sure. here. This feels a little more genuine you know, it feels a little more. He's earned it. Yeah, yeah, that he's comfortable that it's not a, a forced bravado. It's a, I, I know what I'm doing. I know I've got to go out and prove it. I know I've got to go out and do what I'm supposed to do. So I think he's excited to prove people that he can do what he's supposed to. And uh, looking forward to showing everybody that he's a lot more than how many yards he can throw a football. I'll tell you who else is confident is, is Brew McCoy. You know, a, a guy that came in a year ago, was new to the program made a splash at some huge catches you know not more than just the alabama catch there late i mean that catch the end of the half against florida obviously had that you know his first touchdown was at pitt um but clearly feels more comfortable a guy who didn't go through spring but didn't really feel like he had to to, to you know be where he's at mentally yeah and you know who's the next one to ascend right you had cedric tillman yep okay and then and then he got hurt and then there's the ascension of of jalen hyatt he looks to be in line to be the next guy to ascend to get a bunch of balls thrown his way and, and get more numbers. And so uh, I think he does have a lot of confidence in this offense and where he's at. And there's got a lot of guys to compliment him, you know, with Dante Thornton does some different things. I, I think Brew can be what Cedric Tillman was a couple of years ago for Tennessee, yeah. you know, and, and be the guy that the contested catches, he can do some things down the field. Uh, but he's going to play in, you know, in traffic, so to speak, and, and be physical. And then on the other side, the, the silent assassin, Ramel Keaton, that nobody talks about <laughs> yeah. yet. When you ask everybody about him, and has the best nothing, rapport with Joe of anybody. Yeah, there's nothing but praise for Ramel Keaton at the running back spot. You know, we talked to Jamari Small today, and he said the biggest thing that he's learned during his time here is why they do things. You know, why why they rotate this way, why they play this way, why they practice that way. Um, so clearly, like, I think he understands, you know, I'm going to be sharing the load. This isn't my running back room. It's me, Jalen Wright, Dylan Sampson, and then we'll see if any of those freshmen can push those guys to get a little more reps. Yeah, and, and obviously Jabari's got to stay healthy. Yeah. That's first and foremost for him. And the other thing that is you got to make the most of your opportunities, you know, and that's don't get tackled in the open field um, and don't miss a lot of days on the practice field because there is real competition there. Uh, pushing and, and Joey Halsey made it clear today he didn't care if you're a freshman, sophomore, whatever your age was. He, he was more than willing to, to line up and, and play with whoever. He is Brent Hubbs. I'm Austin Price. Complete coverage from Tennessee Football Media Day will be up on VolQuest.com. Remember, all those videos, we talked to you know, about a dozen players, two coordinators, and head coach Josh Heupel. Those are all up. We'll have full breakdowns coming up and, of course, practice tomorrow, morning practices. We love those. Coach Heupel, we appreciate you. 2023 camp is coming up tomorrow.